Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this video we're going to check into uh, the uh, daily tarot reading of 17th of Ju July 2022 and uh, should you find yourself guys interested in uh, having a personal reading with me or if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase uh, whichever service suits you best. So with that said, let's make the cut and see what we got. All right, so the first card uh, of the day, that is going to be the King of uh, Pentacles. <clears throat> Second card for the day, we do have the Knights of Pentacles. And the final card uh, that is going to be the five swords. So this is how the elemental dignity stands for 17th of July, 2022nd. Well, it seems that the trend uh, these days, because I, I am uh, noticing that thing for the past few days, it's really human interactions in uh, uh, human relationships, because it does look like that today, 17th of July, it's going to be no different. So there will be the, the hero of the day is going to be an interaction with that king of pentacles we do have here so uh what is the purpose of that person stepping in into our life well usually king of pentacles they are uh, very quiet individuals they don't have they don't feel the need to prove themselves into anything they don't feel the need to stand out so to speak that is because they have accomplished about almost everything they want uh in into their life for that particular stage of their life <clears throat> and uh, the only reason why king of pentacles has um it's not even a need but incentive to uh step in or step yeah to to step in into one's life in that particular case our life uh, is that because they do want to make an investment now that investment could be literally anything it could be that they may want to invest into our business it could be that they want to invest into um <clears throat> Uh, invest time to spend time with us which is still an investment because they do have a time to kill okay uh, it could be that they want to invest into us emotions they may like us so it's an, an investment what is the difference in between for example you may ask well if it's emotions then what is the difference into the knights of cups in the king of pentacles well the difference is quite big because the knights of cups gives, gives unconditionally they did for them that's not an investment that for them it's application while here with the king of pentacles it is an investment they do expect something in return this ain't a charity all right they may want to um invest in you money and they expect from you to give them love they may invest in you love and they may expect from you to give them a comfort now this uh the game in in this giving and taking doesn't have to be uh, uh um all the same all of the same like you know they invest love and they're expecting love it could be but it doesn't have to be it just it has to be reciprocal so as much as they invest in value just as much as they're going to expect to gain from you in uh, in value and and for the most part this is a very <clears throat> symbiotic relationship it is basically they invest in you what you need and they take away from you what they need and uh, the interesting thing here is that for the most part 99 percent of the cases when the the king of pentacles takes away it is something you are willing to give something that it is no problem from you to just part ways with uh for example at that particular uh day you may kind of like feel the need to talk with someone so you want to give your time to somebody and they just have a time to kill so you know it's it's a win-win situation that is what i'm trying to say while everybody is benefiting but through the game of a giving and taking <clears throat> also the king of pentacles as a um 
as a card of event rather than of a person uh, uh for the most part it's in, in a general sense means that you should bring your friends into the matter you face a problem well bring your friends into it they will be able to help you with the problem that is just a superficial interpretation so <clears throat> Having these elemental dignities next to the King of Pentacles, especially with the one of the Five of Swords, which we do have here, uh, you have to thread a very, very carefully. Now, this symbiotic relationship you're going to have with the King of Pentacles throughout the day is actually hanging by a thread without you both realizing it. It's just you both are skating. Uh, on a thin ice here that is because uh, having the five of swords there it means that how do i describe it it is just uh you or that king of pentacles can say something or can do something and for them may not or for you may not be a big deal but for the other side of the party it's gonna feel extremely callous it's gonna feel like it was made on purpose to hurt and to humiliate and it is just the feeling is going to be like uh, uh what you or them um are betrayed and that investment shouldn't happen um on the first uh, at the first place so how you can avoid that you may ask well that is resi that resides with the other elements of dignity which is uh, the uh, king of pentacles and um, <clears throat> the knights of uh, the knights of pentacles uh, it's just th there needs to be a i don't know if that's the right word that i should use he i should use here a consistency what i mean is that these investments whether emotions whether money you know whether time they need to happen a step by step rather than throwing the whole thing once at the time and also this interaction at least for throughout that particular day the interaction in between you and the king of pentacles needs to be as simple as possible it's just don't try to kind of like pass through complicated sentences that is because the other side is going to hear what they think they that you are saying not what you are actually saying this is how you know you can say something innocent something that you know you you didn't put too much thought behind you know it was just a, a sentence and they are going to kind of like hear it like a big deal you know the, like, the, like there is something in beneath the lot behind the lines and it will be just that uh, uh they will they're gonna start thinking that you are surreptitious and nefarious and it's like they're betrayed and so on and so forth and nobody actually needs that so human inter interactions one more time and one may ask well is there a possibility if i am single things to happen in between me and the king of pentacles kind of yes but like i said the situation right now skating on a thin ice and uh, one has to be patient so you guys gotta be patient if you really want things to develop in between you and that king of pentacles beyond this one-time investment that you are going to experience throughout that particular day <clears throat> and the whole thing needs to have a fulcrum so you both need to know what you are working toward rather than you know hey man whatever happens happens just let's carry on now this isn't how this one operates they need to have a fulcrum they need to have a goal they need to know uh you know that things are leading somewhere okay there is a plan and there is a uh, there, there is a an incentive there are intentions set behind and so with that said this is uh today's daily tarot reading for 17th of july 2022 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and uh, we may see each other uh next time until then bye